Deathblade, Sidewinder, d d d d dairy. Watch time is over. It's heist time. Velvet Thunder. By a man in a yellow sweater. Brooklyn! Shut your damn mouth. I'm the one talking here. What's up, everyone? Adam from FWCI. This is Brooklyn 99, Season 7, Episode 12, Ransom. Uh, cops, someone's being held for ransom. Makes sense. It's going to be a case. Who's going to be getting held for ransom? Kevin? We haven't seen Kevin in forever on this show. Where's Kevin been? And I'm all like, where's Kevin? So I would say the last five episodes of this season have all been really, really good. There was Valo Easter, the, <clears throat> the take back. Admiral Peralta was pretty good. Dillman, um, the Ding Dong episode with Wunch. All of these episodes were pretty damn good. So season seven has actually been quietly one of the better seasons of this show. Maybe not one of the better seasons, but it's exceeded my expectations quite a bit. I came into this not really knowing what to expect and some episodes have left me feeling a bit like, oh, okay, this is starting to go into a weird direction now, but they've really course corrected. So we've got two episodes left of season seven and then season eight, and then I'm gonna wrap up the entire series in a nice big video. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll do a live stream for it. I don't know. Maybe I will do a live stream. I upload these videos at basically the exact same time every week. So I feel like you guys are waiting for it. So let me know in the comments. Would you tune into a live stream where we just do a big old recap of the entire Brooklyn Nine-Nine series? Patreon.com slash FWCI is where you can get early access to these reactions as well as full-length versions of movies and other stuff and movie polls and all sorts of crap on there. Uh, go check it out. Five dollar readers a month. This is Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Season 7, Episode 12, Ransom. Is Chris Evans going to be in this? Like, you know, from Knives Out. Oh, where are they now? I don't see them. There, not here. But you know who is? <laughs> you don't clap back there, Hitchcock. What are you doing here? The building's being fumigated. There were so many emails. <laughs> there were? We didn't. <laughs> Ooh. Hitchcock and Scully have been great throughout this series. Hitchcock has had some moments where he's been really, really creepy and weird. Scully has just been hilarious and adorable the entire series. So, uh, I don't know, I'm a little bit sad to see Scully be the one to crash. And I'm all like... Where's Kevin? Oh, Kevin's here. Kevin's back! Holy shit! Cheddar has been kidnapped. <gasps> Cheddar's been kidnapped? Someone took our fluffy boy. Right, you mentioned that. Now, just to be clear, you didn't actually <laughs> Did he run away, or...? He's pretty well trained, though. He is well trained. Nothing in the world is as important to me as this dog. I wouldn't say nothing, for example. Yeah, Kevin. I have kidnapped your dog. I see. Well, that seems like pretty hard proof. That's good. Good proof. I said, who's that mama looking so cool? I'm that mama looking so cool. Whoa. What? Whoa. Santiago. Having a good day, though. You're in a good mood. That's good. What's the contest? It's an endurance competition. Everyone has to stand with one hand on the stroller, and if you let go, you're out. Oh, Rosa would dominate this. Can I come? Oh, for moral support? Sure, that. Rosa can do that, for sure. She's got the discipline. It could be fuzzy, it could be anything. Raymond, he could be scruffy. <laughs> Peralta, I'm in complete control. Oh, no. Hello. Shut your damn mouth, I'm the one talking here. Then this is over. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, Holt, calm down. I know you love cheddar, but you know how police shit works too. Bone broth. It's an old Boyle family recipe. I drink it after... Oh, Boyle. You know what? We're due for a storyline like this. I've gotten mad, and now I'm getting even. Okay, look, sir, I know it's very, very cool, Holt, but relax. You don't need a hand grenade. say this, but now is not the time to go all John Wick. Who's that? <gasps> oh my god, he is going all John Wick, isn't he? <laughs> you know what else is interesting? Mm. Grenades. Just please. <laughs> Oh, how he loved those trees. Jake, I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, you can do this. I'm right here with you. We're going to get through it together. Now, let's go. <clears throat> oh, no. Is Cheddar dead? And this is what Kevin's way of breaking it to halt? Focus only on me. <clears throat> All right, stare straight into my eyes. Very good. I will stare straight into your eyes. Like Nicolas Cage would. 
Moving away. Not. Don't look away. But I see leaves. No. Tedder loved playing in leaves. Didn't matter what kind. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, come on, man. Look at those sexy lines. Oh, I just want to get behind that thing and push. Oh, man, you're grossing me out. Come on, Santiago. <laughs> Listen to yourself. You, you, you're getting all boilish. <gasps> Teddy, what are you doing here? He served a flight of large batch pilsners. I don't know if you remember, but I... Oh, fuck off with your pilsners. Sure, we're pregnant now, and I'm, uh, I'm going to try to win this sexy little number. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I am so sorry, but pregnant women aren't allowed to compete. Not after what happened last year. Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. Go with me that pram, baby. All right, I'll compete for her. What? Yeah. You will? But I know you think these strollers are dumb. They are, but I can't let that boring bastard win. Yeah. This boil bone broth is incredible. I'm not sore at all anymore. I don't know. But what's the side effects, Terry? What are the side effects? Can car accompany the bone boys? No. <laughs> Hang on, I didn't even see the others. Workplace bone buds. God damn it, boy. <laughs> that last one was terrible. Bone Boys was better. He just got out last month. And you think he wants the file to figure out which one of his guys turned on him to get revenge. It's a vendetta. Ooh, that's a pretty ballsy vendetta to go on there, man. The only problem is I have no idea where to find that some bitch. Well, Raymond, I think we can help <laughs> you find that some bitch. Jake, some bitch. We all got to say it. <laughs> Registered to an anonymous shell company on Dean Street. You can register a vehicle to an anonymous company? That doesn't sound right. Unfortunately, he wasn't here. No, no, no. I think Captain Holt's taking it really well. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> last year was exciting, but we all know how that ended. No, we don't. Right, because of the gag order. Whoa, what happened last year? Just tell my buddy Reggie here about this great salsa that I make. It's so mild you barely taste it. Got pilsners in it. Can't let him get to you, Rosa. It's fine. I can handle boring. We're friends. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to make bracelets to put them on, and I'll never lose my cheddar again. Okay, a little unsettling, but I like your positivity. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that, Kevin. Kevin and Ray, Ray, Kevin and Holt have a lot of weirdness going on in their lives. Refuse to put Kevin in harm's way. Understood, but I think maybe I have a way to put Kevin in danger without putting Kevin in danger. Uh, well, hello there, Raymond, it's me, Kevin! <laughs> Move, talk, and act exactly like Kevin. In other words, we have ourselves a Pygmalion situation. Exactly. Yes, I know that is. That's my fair lady. Let's get started! <laughs> a yellow-crested warbler. Look, Raymond, a yellow-crested warbler. Ugh. Not excited enough. They may be common, but they're still birds. Come on, guys, leave him alone. <laughs> He's doing all right. A yellow-crested warbler. Yes, that's the right level of excitement for such a bird. You. <laughs> indeed. 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 indeed, 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 indeed. indeed. <laughs> it's growing on me. Indeed. 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 Brain is broken. I haven't slept in seventy-two hours. Seventy-two hours. My broken brain won't talk to my body, so I'm doing it. Blink. Blink. <laughs> Let's talk trams. I amusement can't, parks I get can't, it. I can't, you know, more I cities can't, adopted I can't, the amusement park method. I mean, oh, put your hands over here. Rosa, happy place, happy place. Oh no! We have a winner. Oh, that sucks. You can have the stroller for the right price. Okay, how much? Amy no. Santiago, will you move? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> he just can't help himself, can he? You've reached Professor Kevin Cosner. Please start speaking when I finish this sentence. <laughs> Good work. I'm in a sea of Kevins. Oh, no. All right, Peralta, let's talk about this warbler. Well, photos of me stretching? They weren't tasteful. You were in a thong. Boy, oh, stop putting thong pictures on your product. It's got to turn out well. I invested $11,000 in it. $11,000? Oh. It's... What? The domain name workplacebonebuds.com. I am all in. <laughs> Why did you do that? I'm excited to see what you guys have here. Definitely has salt in it. And not in a batch I made. I left it out. Terry doesn't like to get all bloaty. You left out the salt? That stops the fermentation. Oh, no. The salt keeps it stable. Oh, oh no! What is happening? Terry, what did you do? <laughs> Terry! I'm still gonna pass you down. You're my guest, but you're not gonna find anything. Jake, can you. Don't you have moves at this point? No need to worry. 
because everything is on the level, it will be completely fine. Yeah, there you, there you go. Oh shit. Yay, Chen is back at least. But how's Peralta going? This mission has not gone well. This episode hasn't been the most enjoyable. I said you didn't need it because I already bought you a stroller for your shower this weekend. It just isn't as fancy and I felt bad. Oh, you don't feel bad about that. That is a great stroller. I got you a gift received. Thank you so much. <laughs> Never gonna make my $11,000 back. Actually, I called another guy from my gym. He wants to buy the dome. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> It's a porn thing, isn't it? He runs a bone broth company with a co-worker. What are the odds? No. Obviously, he wants to make a website that helps people hook up with their co-workers. Oh, right. Okay, that's what it is. I don't know who the rat is, and I need all my fingers if I'm going to be Wario. You can't be Wario? You can? How do you do it? It's simple. When he's approaching, you just tap the... <laughs> Damn it! Motion detector. Wait, sorry. What do you tap? <laughs> What is this? This is the most crazy I've ever seen. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, I see you have a knife. But what you need is an umbrella. Because there's a <laughs> storm gonna rain down on you, punk. Yeah, that was the most insane halt anger phrase I've heard him say. Ah. <laughs> ah. This is amazing. Getting to see Captain Holt beat the hell out of somebody like this. Although he is very angry. Don't fuck around and accidentally, like, manslaughter this guy, Holt. Fluffy boy! <laughs> Alright, apprehended. That was police brutality, if you think about it. <laughs> I made a movie out of it, but whatever. What? What movie? I was it Rush Hour? What? No. You know what? I'm too old for this crap. <gasps> Are you Murtaugh? He is. Does that make me Riggs? Yes. <laughs> I'm Riggs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that episode ended on a very uh, high note, um, but uh, that Peralta, the, and this show has a habit of doing this every now and then, the storyline with Peralta and Holt, it was going so bad and things were going off the rails so bad that it was kind of a... Ah, it was not joyous to watch. Like, it was still funny. There was still funny dialogue and stuff like that. But the storyline, you're kind of like feeling like it's a little bit bleak for the characters. And that's sometimes a weird feeling to have in a uh, in a comedy show. And this one gave me a bit of a vibe of that throughout, throughout the middle of it, I guess. But it ended on a very high note. Uh, I did enjoy the Rosa, Amy, uh, Stroller, Teddy storyline. Teddy goes with the proposal option at the end, of course. Uh, I really like that. I just thought that was a good thing. I just wish Rosa won it. <laughs> I just think she is that good at everything that she should be able to win that. And Teddy just didn't seem phased. So, I don't know. I don't like that Teddy came out of that the winner, but... We'll see if his stroller raises its head again in the future. The Boyle and Terry storyline, it was a very small one. They didn't dedicate much uh, runtime to that. Um, but it was okay. I didn't mind it. I like that Boyle has this, like, you know, uh, miracle cure for, you know, muscle soreness and stuff like that. And him and Terry. Terry was a little bit goofy in that one, especially at the end when he's like, oh, I just took the, the sugar out or the salt out or whatever. Uh, that seems like a little bit of a, a dumb thing for Terry to do just before they're going to try and like sell it, especially knowing Boyle has invested so much in it. So that story seemed like it was a little bit rushed, but uh, the main one with Peralta and uh, Captain Holt and Kevin was awesome. So glad we finally got to see Kevin in this again and Cheddar and Cheddar as well. But that scene with Captain Holt at the end where he's beating the absolute hell out of that guy. That's got to be police brutality, isn't it? Um, that seems pretty violent for Holt to do that. Don't get me wrong. I love seeing it happen. I love seeing him do all the like one-liners and stuff like that. But that was straight up like violence. <laughs> like um, deliberate violence on that guy. So I don't know if we, we've heard the last of that yet because that seemed... A little bit out of character for the show as well, but I'm just going to wait and see if it, if it comes up in future episodes. And the fact that Captain Holt might be Murtaugh, I mean, I don't think the timeline for that really works out because Murtaugh was already going to retire, but uh, I like the fact that it's been brought up and uh, I like that joke. They could have probably dedicated an entire episode to 
finding out that uh, 80s action movie was actually based on Captain Holt's life or a case that he worked or something like that and Peralta just becomes obsessed with it I would have made it a two-parter bugger it I think that's a great storyline let's let's do it let's bring back all the car oh, Andre Brewer's passed away fucking hell all right Let's, let's figure out a way to do this episode because I'm, I, I want to see that happen. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this one. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube or go to patreon.com slash FWCI if you want early access to my Brooklyn Nine-Nine videos. As always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.